Before getting started with the implementation of SQL Server, here we will have a look in the data types as by the time we will start working with it, we will have to deal with so many data types so that we can create a table or can do some other operations. So let's begin with the data types here as you can see there is a big classification in SQL Server you will find uh, like numerics, data types, character strings, unicoded character strings or binary strings. So let's begin with the numerics here where you will find there's a big options available right like for integer if you want to take the non-decimal numbers you can go for the integer depends which type of number or how big the number you want to take you can choose the accordingly you can choose the different options available here like big int, int, small int, tiny int, bit for ones and zeros that is true or false that can be converted as well. Uh, decimal, money, small money it will also get the currency symbol along with the number and numeric where you can pass the size as per your requirement so we'll have a look on that as well so basically you can see like big int you can see there's a 8 byte 4 byte 2 byte 1 byte so you have the data types option you have you know the size and here's the range so accordingly you can choose like if you are sure like the number can go crazily big so you can go for the big int as well similarly you can see the money and small money again the range is different and here is the range available along with the storage size but let's have a look here about the numeric type which we will be using in our implementation as well and see how it will be dealt. so basically when we will work with numeric what I have to do is like I wrote numeric and after that I need to pass the size if I just pass one number like 8 that means I can enter 8 digit number alright or I can do one more thing like 8 comma 2 or 8 comma 3 so what it means is like after the decimal I can enter two decimal places number alright but before that how many numbers would be there 6 as 8 it is the total width of the number and 2 out of which is a decimal so before the decimal you can enter the 6 digit number now it's about date time data types like date if you just want to store the date time if you just want to store the time small date time small date time basically will not take the uh, microseconds in that the small date time will take the date time and time till the seconds only alright but if you will talk about the date time and date time too it will take so many decimal places for the seconds as well but here it will only take till seconds not the micro milliseconds alright but uh, these will be taken care by the date time and date time 2 where date time 2 has even the bigger range of taking the uh, time part now let's talk about the character strings where we have a couple of options like char n and var char n as the name says a uh, char it will be taking the characters how many characters that you can specify right here in the end and maximum it can accept the 8000 characters and the very same case is with the var char but the difference is it is the variant character that means if out of uh, suppose by the time you define it you uh, give a size called 20 all right out of 20 like i stored another a in adi five characters are there 15 are remaining so it will release that particular space but if I will do the same thing with the care what it will do it will occupy the complete size for example if I created a column and say care 20 and I accept uh, and I entered another so it will take 5 bytes for storing my name and then in the remaining 15 it will store the spaces so it actually allocate all the size and it wastes some size so we will use the char data type only when we are sure that we are going to enter the fixed length string and similarly we have a text data type here where you can enter up to this number of characters and you don't have to specify the size here alright again it is a variable length means like the var char it will only occupy the size which you will enter and in the same pattern you will get some unicoded character strings also like n char, n var char, n text the behavior wise is same the size of each character is double like uh, suppose here 
we are taking one character is taking one byte here one character will be taking two bytes so you can see the range is just half 4000 4000 for ncare and nware care and similarly for ntext also the range is smaller and now let's talk about the binary strings as well it's a very in the same pattern if you want to store something in binary like the image or some other file information so we can store them in form of the binaries again if you are using binary and where binary you'll have to pass the size and maximum it's up to 8000 characters the difference between the binary and where binary will be exactly same like the care and where care like it's a fixed length while it is the variable length and image image it says this size means the maximum characters that you can store the binary characters that you can store is this much so these are the data types using which we can store different type of informations in our database sql server